Hey, it's JustGeorgeMedia.com with the Notebook Cookbooks. Just George and Nicole. Tonight, we're going to be doing Philly cheesesteak sandwich the way they were invented, the way they were meant to be. In other words, put away your cheese whiz. Seriously. All you Philadelphia lovers of the cheese whiz, put it away, sit down, and watch. Get schooled on exactly how this works. It's chopped sirloin, chopped mushrooms, Worcestershire sauce, extra virgin olive oil, and your seasoning mix for your meat is going to be black pepper, salt, paprika, and garlic. And then soften your hoagies with that tin foil right in front of you. No cheese whiz. We do not need aerosol fake cheese. We're going to be used the mozzarella and the provolone. Cook along with us. Have fun. Our pan is nice and hot. It's time for about a tablespoon of oil. Now we're only doing mushrooms. If you're doing onions and peppers, be sure to lay those down first. You want a little bit more caramelization. You really want to saute those onions. And when those are down, just like a pinch of salt, really help those bring out that flavor. It's been approximately about two minutes. Uh, we're stirring for the first time. Make sure you really let those mushrooms caramelize. Onions, peppers, exactly the same way. You're going to lay those down first. Again, no cheese whiz. As those mushrooms caramelize, it's time to lay down our chopped sirloin. Now, this should be a very thin cut, like paper thin cut. And we want that caramelization on our beef just like we do our mushrooms. That pan has gotten to that heat. You're literally going to hear that sizzle all the time. A little bit of patience. Let that sear really take hold and bring those flavors together. Now that your beef is down, make sure that you put your buns in to get nice and heated, warm, soft. They'll be ready in just a minute. All right. We are deglazing with the Worcestershire sauce. It's going to add a lot of flavor. It's going to be a very salty sauce, so be careful. The next is we're going to go our seasoning, which is a salt, black pepper, garlic, and a paprika. It's a teaspoon in entirety. And stir just a little bit, get those seasonings in. The gray that comes through that beef is really going to show where that caramelization has gone. You have to be patient with it and let it really crispen on the other under edge of that beef. Here comes it. No cheese whiz. We're doing mozzarella and provolone and no cheese whiz. All you Philadelphia cheese whiz lovers. We're doing it the real way. Provolone and mozzarella. Put it on there. Now she put it on a plate so she's struggling because it's peeling off. There we go. Now we're going to go with the lid right over the top of that, let that steam and melt, and then that goes right into our nice warm hoagies that are currently in the oven at 350, cold oven to 350. And off on the heat, pull it right off that hot burner. Let me go ahead and move that. There you are. You can see what's going on with the no cheese whiz, the real way of doing the Philadelphia cheesesteak. It's time to plate our very first. No cheese whiz. I'm I'm literally just gonna keep poking at those Philadelphia cheese whiz fans because this is a real Philly, and it's amazing that here in the Midwest we're doing what you invented. Beautiful, nice overflowing soft hoagie just yep. came out of the oven, and it's the Philly cheesesteak, and it's done. Nice warm hoagie coming out of the oven. That nice sauteed beef deglazed with Worcestershire mushrooms. And again, no cheese whiz in Philly. We're like the only place that, you know, that likes cheese whiz is Philly. So let's do this right. Looks beautiful. It's overflowing. It looks great. Perfect. Perfect. All right, guys. We're going to enjoy NoBookCookbook.com. NoBookCookbook. JustGeorgeMedia.com. NoBookCookbook. Follow, like, subscribe.